Hello everyone, today, um, I, well, I know you guys weren't expecting this video, but, um, I did it in the com- I commented in my first video of this bowling alley. Um, I commented in the real video on my mom's channel, but I told you I would make a full video on how everything works and give you some advice and tricks. But, um, I'm just gonna show you how everything works first. So first, let's go to the- Oh my goodness, ignore my messy room. <laughs> Let's go to the side back here. We have the light right here. It's a little, it's a little light box. Turn it on. There. It's not too bright, but it's bright enough. It's just a fairy light, so I wrapped it on a Lego brick. I mean, a Lego. Yeah, just a Lego piece. And we have the pin setter. Oh goodness, you can't. Here, you have the pin setter. Yeah, it functions pretty normally. You pull this back and see the little pieces closing. Really cool. That's one of the best. That's one of the hardest things I made. And a bunch of my big marbles. And when I was little, I loved to collect marbles. So, yeah, I have a lot in my custom, my favorite bowl. Green one. The little pro shop I made. I just took them off because they always fall. They're supposed to be sitting like that in rows. But they always fall off, so I just took them down for now. We have the back here. And let me show you something I just I made this morning. It's like 7 o'clock right now. But I made these cool pins. We cu I customized myself. We have um, these Brunswick pins I made myself. Um, I made three of them. Oh. And we made tons of custom ones. Right here. I made a few of these. Okay, this is one Keithy made. It's a little blue and it's orange stripes. Um, this is Leah's. It's a midnight one. Here, let me do one. Here we have this one. It's just, just blue Sharpie with little white paint dots. This is my first one I made. It's just blue sharpie again, but I really like it. It might look, it might look different on screen, but it looks a lot different in real life. And we have the golden ones, one of my favorites, black stripes, and the just kind of old looking one, the corro the corrosion the, it looks like it has corrosion on it. We have the red, white, and blue one. We have American flag based on one. And we have the red pin. It's pretty cool. They're pretty rare. And I just, I randomly turned this one just completely black. It looks kind of funny. Leah's rainbow one she made. Pretty cool too. And my ultimate favorite one. I made Kiwi. My parakeet. I turned him into a bowling pin. Yes. He's so cool. He's so cute. Okay, now back on the whole bowling lane. I recently added this yesterday. This is a little flap for like bowling balls. They can so it keeps pins out of there. And you just when it opens it, you just reset it by pushing this. Here, let's do a test. You'll watch it open. See, it just opens up and you just close it. Oops. I really like that feature. That's one of my favorite features. And we'll show you the ball return. Um, I updated not too long ago. See, pretty fast. Not too fast. And this is the front of the lane. Looks really nice. My symbol I made. Really cool too. And the sweeper, where is it? Yeah, here it is. It's a little hard to do it from front. Yeah, this was in the same video, my first video. I still have it, and it's not been changed. And forget about my sloppy handwriting. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a cringe attack. <laughs> Whatever, but this is what everything looks up on the outside. I also added this today. This cool light. I had an extra fairy light sticking out. 
So I decided to make a little on and off light. Really, really cool. I love it. And the little TV tells their turn, but it doesn't work, obviously. It's a brush off it looks from the front. And if you remember from the video, the first video, I have upgraded the bigger to bigger balls. The bigger ones. Because the tiny ones they just didn't feel right. So what I have here, um I put this in a display. My first ball, the smaller ones, they're around here, let me show you it. This is my first ball. It's really small. Here, let me get a comparison ball. Here, look. Look how smaller it is. But they've got the balls have gotten really big. Pretty cool. Okay. Now, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, this little ramp I had. It's rolls down. It's not the greatest, but I still like it. Here, let me do a bug view. Okay, it's going to be a little hard to record. It's going to be a little harder to pen sweep because it's pretty... Yeah, I had to function from the top. Here, let's just skip to where I reload the pens. Okay, we're definitely doing only doing one round with this because this took like 10 minutes. Uh, not 10 minutes. Like 3 minutes to set up the pens because it's in my way and I kept on falling apart. Well, let's just do one above you and then we'll be done. Please get a strike on this. Let's go. So yeah, that's a little bit of it. That's a little bit of the functions. So, hmm. Well, some trick. I'll show you some tips and tricks. So you see here. See, um, to make the sweeper, you just need a bit of Technic bricks, and you can. So you can use kind of this axle right here to make the line, and put that little sign I made right there, sloppy slime, like. and then. You make these little, you, you take one of these on um, little, see right here? It's a little block with a hole in it. It's a Technic block. It's kind of like this, but just a two by one. And it slot, and you put some slopes inside and put it one, um, one brick inside. And so you can slide in there freely. And also, um, to make the, the pit curtain, you just use a piece of black paper. It's pretty easy. And one of the best parts of all, the I don't know what it's called, but it it makes it separates the ball from the pins. It just like slot. That's too the ball's too big for it, and it just rolls down. And the pins go right under. Yeah, but that's really important for a good bowling alley. So, and hmm. And you could definitely make this door. It really helps a lot because sometimes I had problems before I made this. The pins would get through here still and they'll roll down. They'd get through the door and just, I mean, they'll get through the hole and then they'll just slide down. It'll be annoying. But luckily I made the door and it prevents that problem. Under the pin sitter, let's get a better a bit of light. The pin sitter here, you just, it's just um, a few axles. And the one I did, I put these pieces right here. And you need to, like, I'm, I'm, um, I've only made three pins, because this is my first, this is, like, based off of my first bowling alley. Yeah, pins are not much, but you probably, it's probably, it's kind of, I'd say in, in, a, in a ranking by medium. And take, right, you know, I'm going to start ranking them. I would say the sweeper is pretty easy. Pins are medium. And probably the hardest part is probably the... The ball thing, the little ball rail thing. That's the hardest part. That took a few hours to do, finish. But, um, yeah, and some of the add-ons I had. This is a little ball, moving ball rack with six little balls on it. You can roll it around. It's like one of those moving ball racks of the bowling alley. And just an empty space. And yeah, let's play a few games. Okay, let's start. Probably do like four rounds, maybe. Or whatever you call them. I think they're called frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do... I'll swap pins out and see how they... See how you guys think they look on the... On the lane. So first, the Brunswick pins. Pretty nice. Let's... Do this. Uh, I can't do...
Okay, let's try again. Let's go. There we go. Let's reset it. We're gonna try the gold pin, the blue pin, and the kiwi pin. There we go. I'm not gonna be using the ball of turn, it's kind of useless to me. I only do it when someone's already blowing on myself. So yeah, they do look a little different on camera and in person, but they still look good. My pin sander can also pick up pins without having to like manually pick them up. Sweeper works pretty good. I just malfunction right there. Sweep it again. Oh, I got stuck. That happens a few times every once in a while. So, yeah, let me show you this. Here, I'm gonna put a basic pinner here. I'll show you. I can prove that it picks up without having to do it manually. You know, I'll actually do it on camera. So, what you do is make sure it's open. Pull it and right over it. It's a little hard while holding the camera. Yeah. See, it's in there. You pull it back. Oops, I'm hitting things with my camera. And you move it back. And it's gone. And it's in the pin setter. You just sweep or do whatever you want. It's hard with one hand, yeah, that's why it looks. That's why I just kind of shrivel up. Well, let's get back to it. Okay, let's use maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Let's use the red pin, black pin, and corroded pin. You're all are like, hey, this is like a review video, not showing off the colored pins. I know that. I just wanted to see how they look on camera. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of easy with three pins. That's why um, I'm going to be in the next video. I am going to be recording myself building my six pin bowling alley. Yeah, it's probably going to be posted like in the next two weeks or something. I don't know. Because I really just want to play with my bowling alley before I destroy it. This thing's got lots of memories in it, and I worked on it really hard. But now I have experience, I'm moving on. Okay, next pins are the blue pin, the um, starry night pin, and the rainbow pin. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so I'll set up. Now let's bowl. Now let's bowl. Boom. This thing is so clean. It's like, it's so easy to use. The hard part is bowl building it. Okay, let's do... Just one last pin. I'm going to show you one more thing before I end the video. Here we have all three of um. Here we have all three of some of the pins I made. Let's see how they all. Let's see how these all look. I only have. Yeah, I used only nine of my colored pins, and let's just see how they all look. So, in the in the left we have the red, white, and blue pin. In the front we have the just standard pins. In the right we have the um the Brunswick pins I made. Now let's get rid of them. 
Bye bye. Okay, everyone. So, um, I just shut it off for now. But before I end the video, I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to show you something. If you guys really like my colored pins, I'll show you, um, how to make one. Or my Brunswick one. You can make whatever you want. Yeah, obviously. But I'll show you how to make the Brunswick pin. People are probably most dying for. Not many people use colored bowling pins in their bowling eyes, probably. So, I'm just going to show you how to use, how to make a Brunswick one. So, yeah, one of these, uh, this pregnant one. Oh, I never used this one, so I'll just decide color on it. I'm going to show you guys how to turn into a Brunswick pin from, like, these standard pins. Okay, for, we'll just need a blue Sharpie. A dark red one. Or just normal red, whatever color you want. And I think that's it. That's all you need. Okay, so first, I'm going to make sure I catch this on camera. But, what you do? First, take the pin here. Take your red Sharpie out. Ugh, move out of the way. And you're just going to color inside the lines. See? And you're just going to do that for the whole pin. Okay, so once you do that, see it's just a full line here. Let me focus on it. See, it's just a just just a line. We had colored this pregnant one. I don't know what you did to it. What? Okay, let me show you now. Let's um make the little spike little crowns on the top. Here, let me show you something for reference. This is my real Brunswick pin I have. Had this for a very long time. See, it has a little crown on top and a little blue on it. I put a little, like, bronzer crown on the front, but you don't have to do that. You can make it look how you want it to. See? Okay, so, once you got the whole thing just colored in, it's time to make the crowns. The little crowns. You're just going to make, like, a little, little triangle. It's a little sloppy because I'm on camera and you're just going to do it for the whole side it's a little sloppy because it's not the best one I made but you could make it as good as you want <laughs> sorry about that now let's, make the, oh, now let's make the crown on it I'm just going to do it from the side so what you're going to do is you're going to make you're going to kind of make them like that then you're just going to make two lines on the ends. Sorry, I can't show it on camera. It's a little too hard. Like that. And then you make a little point in the middle. And there you go. You have a little crown. Okay. That's it for all the red. You can put red away. And then take out your blue marker. Let's go around the back. Let's make you know, a little line on the back. Like that. And then make a little... Curl. Oops, I made a P. Uh, yeah, don't make that line on the end like a P. But, and then you put another curve. Yeah, just another curve to make like a little B shape. There. It's a little sloppy because it's not the best one I made. I'm trying to focus. But, yeah, that's my Brunswick pin. Yeah, you don't need that. I suck at drawing. So that's it for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you can make your own bowling alley if you got some tips and tricks from me, and just a little review off of my bowling alley. Hopefully it gave you some ideas. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.